Alright, so boom, I did a little bit of research on what was going down in Nevada come this September 20th, I believe, of this year, 2019, where individuals will be turning into storm from the X-Men as they storm Nevada in Lincoln County to go to Area 51. Upon my research, still, there is no plan. There's no sort of organized force. It's just people signing up and saying, hey, I'll volunteer my body. What is really the purpose? I know I ranted on it, but seriously, let's just have a conversation. Why? Why must people always want to go and find out things they probably have no business knowing information on? First and foremost, there is no guarantee there is any form of other life forms outside of this universe there. I read Bill Cooper, or I should say William Cooper, whatever name you want to call him, his book, Behold a Pale Horse. He started talking about aliens, UFOs, and different sort of stuff like that in um, Nevada, things that he may or may not have saw. Magnificent book, but... I think UFOs, aliens, it's all ludicrous. More importantly, I don't want to know anything about it. Because first and foremost, let's just say there are UFOs there, right? What, what can the common, regular, working class individual do with a UFO or get access to? If anything, it would become the luxury vehicle of the elite you want to charter flight not anymore you're getting a ufo and what are you really going to use it for where are you going to park a ufo they're going to start making helipads for ufo so it's going to be a u-pad no that's stupid why would you do that you can't use a ufo how is it powered is it on gas are we going to go into the middle east you look like you need some democracy liberation and go take their gas to fuel the UFOs, this don't make no sense. On top of that, let's just say there's some extraterrestrial human beings, right? What we really about to do with them? It's always the people who want to save the planet, who always want to conserve all forms of life. These are people who really want mosquitoes to have a fair kind of living out here. They won't kill a mosquito. They won't swat a fly. They're not going to step on a roach. They not. They talk about let's save the tuna in the water. What are you doing? Some stuff got no business, you know, being in affiliation with us as humans. You can't save everybody. And on top of that, we don't even know what these extraterrestrial things look like. We have this concept that aliens are green or gray. They got no eyebrows, no eyelashes. In fact, they're hairless. It looks like it's some sort of uh, uh, so one of them hairless animals. I don't know where they came up with this, you know, the drawing or the design for what they call these aliens out here looking like, um, is it Starving Marvin from, uh, um, from, from South Park? Whatever it was. I can't remember what these aliens or where the base form of the design came from, but it makes no sense to me as to why people are like, oh, if there's aliens out there, we've got to go and save them. For what? For what? Let's just say the aliens look like us. Let's just say the aliens look like humans. What are we going to do? How are we going to fight the tethers from us? How are we going to know they not a member of who we are? It got a little bit dark for a second. But yeah, I'm not understanding what's transpired. Why these people want to go over there for? What is really the purpose? Let's just say they are real, some real shapeshifters. How? How do we combat them? More importantly, let's just say there's nothing there. And you already know the security that's out there at Area 51. They were informed to shoot on sight with lethal force. Let's just say somebody got shot in their legs, shot their legs off. But since they're in Nevada, it's 125 degrees out there at the moment anyway. Because the rocks is so damn hot. The sand is so damn hot. They go, you know, close up their open wound on the rocks, on the sand. So now they just got nubs. They've been out there starving for about three weeks. They crawl to where the media covers. Oh, there were 135 people massacred over here. Wait a minute. There's a crawling individual over there what is that they moving like a slugma like they just came back from Cinnabar Island on the Johto games and here they come you're oh my god it's extraterrestrial no it's Ned he got his legs shot off and somehow survived eating sand he's not an extraterrestrial but we gonna act as if they are I'm not understanding this I'm not understanding this why must we always as humans want be oh so curious to go find out I would much rather aliens come out of nowhere and catch me off guard then I go to somewhere where we think we harboring them and all of a sudden they got the super soldier serum and they come out here whooping our ass it's not going down like that listen let me tell you something all right let me tell you something the whole west coast Nevada just take the whole state 
drop them into coastal America. They are part of the Caribbean. Matter of fact, they're in between the Caribbean and Mexico. Okay, I don't know what's going on over there. Don't, don't bring nobody to New York City or any place where they have any sense who has went to Area 51. Because let me tell you something. People of Area 51, they need to be sent to Area Upper Room. All right, all of you, I hope. They open fire and every single one of you never come back. But let's just say the aliens are there and they take power, right? What, what are we going to do to stop them? What are we going to do? We're going to have to, you know, serve them because uh, I'm not going to become no sex slave or no alien. So while we hanging out, we join the suicide squad. We about to uh, hang out with our friends from trees, you know. What are we going to do?